What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna look at address bar shortcuts of Google Chrome. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button and share it with your friends. Being said that, let's get started. Unlike the first generation browsers in Google Chrome, you can start your search or perform your search from the address bar itself. Uh, let's say Google Doodle. You can search the term or perform the term from the address bar itself. It is same as opening google.com and searching. So this is the first uh, simple shortcut. And the next one is you can perform a search of a particular website from Google Chrome. For example, uh, uh, there's other uh, search engine called uh, Bing.com. So I want to search US election 2016 uh, search result from Google Chrome using a certain option. So you can go to the address bar, start typing Bing.com and you can see uh, after I'm typing, typing bing.com, automatically it's giving the suggestion. You can press tab and you can see a box, blue box here. And you can type the search term like US election 2016. When you press enter, the search result is exactly the same like the results you get it from Bing. So even though you're working in Google Chrome, so it pull up the search from Bing and show it to you here without logging into the bing.com website. Let's do another search. I want to search cnet.com and I want to search mobile. When I press enter, so it opens up CNET and search the term mobile and throws up all the mobile related uh, search results. This is one of the good shortcuts we have uh, instead of going inside a particular website and uh, wasting time we can straight away start the search from the Google Chrome option. Uh, next one is control enter shortcut. So let's say uh, you want to open msn.com, msn.com, and you don't want to type www.msn.com. So there's a shortcut to work around for that. You can type msn and use control enter. The Google Chrome uh, software or the browser will automatically add www dot and dot com in the beginning and the end so uh, this applicable to all the uh, urls in the next shortcut is uh, you can open a url in a different tab let's say uh, you want to open uh, yahoo.com so you don't want to uh, disturb the current msn page and you want to open a yahoo.com so you can type yahoo com and you can press alt enter once you press alt enter you can uh, get those new tab loaded in a uh, loaded loaded with yahoo.com page so this is the uh, another shortcut alt enter to open it a new tab uh, the control l is the shortcut to open highlight the uh, the URL control L will uh, highlight the current active uh, tabs URL or you can use uh, alt D to uh, the other alt D is the other uh, shortcut uh, for the uh, URL highlighter so if you wanted to move inside the URL, you can click inside the URL. And uh, if you press Control 
left arrow which will take you to the uh, previous key term control left arrow by the same time if you press control right arrow it will take you to the uh, key term to the right side what if i want to uh, delete uh, the key terms so you can use control backspace to delete key terms uh, to the left side so that is a shortcut to delete key terms and uh, what is the shortcut to delete certain search items from the uh, google chrome so you don't need to clear the whole history of uh, 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 things available there you can let's say i am um, chrome ch r o m e so there are multiple searches i i i did in the recent past so if i want to delete any of it let's say i want to delete chrome os i can use shift delete so that you know it's get deleted you can you can see the difference here between the search items like the first three are searched items and the other one is uh, you have the url so here you can delete only the search items uh, not the other things so you can choose the particular search item you want to delete let's say again you want to delete a chrome system you can select that you have to use shift delete to delete the uh, searched item in the recent past so thanks for your time um, looking forward to meeting the next video thanks again